After millions of boys and girls were merged into the Hitler Youth in 1933, the educational work in the Hitler Youth and the League of German Girls began to take shape. The creation of a basis of youth development through physical education, schooling, cultural work and social service was developed. The education was additionally meant to be adapted to the physical, intellectual and mental development of the adolescents. Therefore, adolescents were not just grouped by age for organizational reasons, but also in educational groupings, two for the male and three for the female youth. Male youth, Jungfug, 10 to 14 years. Hitler Jugend, 14 to 18 years. Female youth, Jung Mädelbund, 10 to 14 years. Mädelbund, 14 to 17 years. BDM movement, 17 to 21 years. The opinion of the national leader of the League of German Girls, Jutta Rudiger, which was based on her education in psychology, was, after the younger girls learn to become a part of the community through sports and games, travel and hikes, the older girls should be given the opportunity to follow their individual abilities and interests, to further their educations accordingly, and to grow into their own personality. Then they should make their abilities available to the community again. The national youth leader, Baudur von Schirach, called this the community-oriented personality. On January 1st, 1938, the national leader of the League of German Girls, Jutta Rudiger, speaks on the radio about this new educational step for girls between the ages of 17 and 21. To further youth education, the national youth leader, Baudur von Schirach, then founds the BDM movement, Belief and Beauty, on the 19th of January, 1938, after consulting Jutta Rudiger. In this movement, Jutta Rudiger's idea to give the girls room for their character to grow and Baudur von Schirach's idea for their emphasized gymnastics training came together. The overall aim of both was the harmonic cultivation of body, mind, and spirit. The national youth leader appointed regional leader Clementine Zucastel as the overall delegate of the BDM movement. The former national leader of the BDM, Jutta Rudiger, and the delegate for the BDM movement, Clementine Zucastel, remember the development of the BDM movement, Belief and Beauty, 60 years ago. And then shortly afterward, we had a convention in January 1938, where all regional leaders of the Hitler Youth and the BDM came together. Von Schirach pulled me aside and said, Mrs. Schultzklink complained about you to Rudolf Hess because you'd spoken about the girls between the ages of 18 and 21 on the radio who belonged to the Frauenschaft. They'd never belonged to her, but she always wanted to have these age groups. And then he said to me, I'll stand up for you, and we'll make something really special out of this, out of the working groups I'd suggested. What would you think about a new section within the BDM? What would you think about a BDM movement? Well, I said, okay. And then he suddenly said, belief and beauty. We had a Führertagung, Führerin and Führertagung in Berlin. We had a leaders' convention in Berlin, and Schirach asked me to come to his room and then said, I would like you to take over leadership of the BDM movement, Belief and Beauty. I asked Baldur to refrain from doing this. There would be others who'd be much better suited, and I'm not well suited to working on a national level. That isn't really my talent and whatnot. I wanted to stay in Franken and keep my posting there for as long as I could. Afterwards, the convention went on for a couple of days, and Baldur's chief of staff, Hartmann, was leading it. And he got mad because I didn't say yes, and he thought that was impossible. 
He said to me, I want to tell you something. You're now the delegate for the BDM movement, belief and beauty, and that's that. And I'll tell Badur you've accepted. And that's how I became the delegate for belief and beauty. Clementine Zucastel was called in for the BDM movement, belief and beauty, but it was incorporated. The whole organization was called the League of German Girls. Jung Mädelbund, ages 10 to 14, Mädelbund, ages 14 to 17, and BDM Movement, ages 17 to 21. And everything together was the League of German Girls and was under the control of the national leader of the BDM. The delegate for the BDM Movement was jointly responsible with her too. Ich war dadurch äh, Mitarbeiter und Untergebene von Jutta Rüdiger. This made me a co-worker and a subordinate of Jutta Rüdiger, who was in charge of the BDM overall. Schirach hat uns diesen Namen, Glau und Schönheit, and Schirach gave us the name Belief and Beauty himself to represent the young girl's attitude towards life between 17 and 21 or to give them a role model or ideal. And that was generally what we believed in, our youth and the future of our youth. And Yuta was glad, of course, that she had filled that position. We liked each other, of course, and that's how I came to Berlin and took over the BDM movement, Belief and Beauty. The smallest grouping within the BDM movement is the work group, comprised of 10 to 50 girls. It is led by a trained specialist, for example, a lecturer or music teacher. The girls are introduced to the life skills that will be needed in their future jobs and families through relaxed training. The assignments for their service depend on the individual inclinations of the girls. Everyone can choose an area that interests her out of the many different work groups. The meetings take place just once a week in the evening. In addition, all girls from the different work groups meet once a month for a community evening where the individual groups report about their abilities and objectives. It was all the beginning. That was all still at the beginning, and the one condition Baldur had for us was that there has to be at least one work group each year for gymnastics, because he wanted them to work on their beauty and their bodies, and wanted to hold up that ideal. Nowadays, that is very common. Everyone's saying, my body, my body needs to be cultivated and whatnot. But back then it was different. You had workers' children and young girls with jobs who otherwise would have never had the opportunity. During a 1937 visit to England, Baudur von Schirach's attention was drawn to exhibitions by the League for Health and Beauty, which was following the German gymnastic methods of Maidau. The national youth leader was of the opinion that this type of gymnastics could become an important building block in the education of girls between the ages of 17 and 21. Heinrich Medau, who was born in 1890 in Schleswig-Holstein, met the founder of expressionist gymnastics, Rudolf Bode, in 1922 and founded his own school for gymnastics in Berlin-Schönefeld in 1929. Gymnastic exhibitions of his students were held within the context of the 1936 Olympics and for the first time, the Medau School introduced gymnastics with hoops, symbolic of the Olympic Games. Heinrich Medau had a very popular gymnastics method. There were many different methods of gymnastics back then, Boda method and a couple of others, but Heinrich Medau was the one who worked most beautifully and most naturally with his girls. Grace and rhythm combined to form a picture of a happy affirmation of life.
Und äh, da hat Schirach ihn gebeten und berufen äh, für das BDM-Werk Glaube und Schönheit. And then Shirach asked him and called on him to set up a gymnastics program for the BDM movement, Belief in Beauty. We'd always been sporty with our girls. We'd always done gymnastics too, but we hadn't had such beautiful movement gymnastics like the one Maidau developed and formed until then. We didn't want the girls to do high-performance work, but rather graceful movements. Maidau said that as well. He did gymnastics with music, with swinging hoops and clubs. It was all very pretty. We had those lovely gymnastic smocks, white ones. And it was all very successful, and we were invited to foreign countries with our girls to show the Maidau gymnastics. Full of grace and health, pious and aware of their great duties and tasks, they are happy girls of our great times. Gymnastik war ein wesentlicher Hauptgrund für die äh, Ertüchtigung, äh, der, für die körperliche Ertüchtigung. Und, äh, wir hatten, Gymnastics was one of the main reasons for physical education. And we had a wonderful gymnastics teacher who came from the Maidau school. Gisela Prenzel led gymnastics here, and the girls had special gymnastics smocks. We also had BDM dance dresses. The Maidau gymnastics were supposed to embody the harmony of the girls, and Maidau thought that all girls could be beautiful from the inside out if they learned to move in such a way that it looked harmonic. And that was a beautiful task. Medau vertrat die Ansicht, dass jedes Mädel von innen heraus schön sein kann, wenn es die Bewegung so erlernt, dass sie harmonisch wirken. Und das war eine besonders schöne Aufgabe. And that's how it went, you see. Gymnastics groups and groups doing other work and other sports groups. The scenes of girls riding horses were really nice too, but it's all just a small part of the extensive work that we did in a very short period of time with the leaders. A movie was produced in 1939 to showcase the many different opportunities of training within the BDM movement, Belief and Beauty. Clementine Zucastel, the delegate for the BDM movement, was able to win over Hans Ertel, one of the best cameramen of Leni Riefenstahl, and Heinrich Medau for the movie work. Hans Ertel shot the scenes for Belief and Beauty in and around Berlin. Leni Riefenstahl said in her memoirs about Hans Ertel that he was not only one of the best, but also one of the most ambitious of her cameramen. 
the movie shows excerpts from the substantial offers of the workgroups and illustrated their contents and goals. Ja, wir haben dann diesen BDM Werkfilm geplant. And then we began planning that BDM movement film to show what it was that we wanted. Maidau authoritatively took over the gymnastic parts, the body focus parts of the movie. <coughs> And we sat down with Ertel. He was one of the cameramen who worked on the Olympics movie with Leni Riefenstahl, and fortunately, he was willing to do our film right away. He was a very artistic and sensible man, and he had a very beautiful eye, a good eye, for the beauty he wanted to film. And you can really see that in the movie. It's really nice that we were in the sports arena, and the girls from the different BDM groups, who only had really done the gymnastics for about a year, they were so wonderful, so perfect. And he always looked through the camera and said, oh, they look so sweet. And then, that was pretty funny, he said, I can't film yet. There are no clouds in the sky. I don't have the right lucency yet. And because of that, we always laughed later and said, we have to wait for the air till clouds. Then Maidau arranged the girls and told them, now with the ball, now with the hoops, now with the Indian clubs, and it worked right away. Then Erto would say, we'll get started, and then he filmed. That's how it was done. He was really smitten because they learned so quickly, because they understood it so quickly within their groups. He never expected that he would receive such publicity for his wonderful gymnastics. Personal life skills is a nearly inexhaustible area that was meant to primarily accommodate the interests of the girls. All things with regard to taste, from personal hygiene and questions of fashion to furnishing one's home, were discussed. The feeling of everything real was to be fostered in the girls in terms of shapely and useful furniture, clothing, and jewelry. Each girl was supposed to do and wear what suited her and therefore create her own style that supported the development of her own character, which girls that age are especially concerned about. What would be better suited to accent the personality of a woman than her clothing and her tastes she shows in those questions? All areas of life that were prerequisite to the girls' later tasks as women and mothers or in their jobs were included in this work group. In the BDM movement, an employed girl can complete her personal talents in the areas of culture and art.
We did a lot of weaving in our leadership schools. Some of the regions also had weaving schools so that this old craft could be kept alive or reintroduced. It was all part of personal life skills, even the furnishings in one's home. We shouldn't just senselessly put modern industrial furniture in our homes later on, but rather be sure to get useful ones. Home economics and farming life skills are the work groups in which the girls are meant to receive the basis and direction for their future duties as housewives and mothers. The girls spin, weave, iron, sew, cook and bake with much eagerness and great ability. And through this, they receive versatile training. Girls from the cities are helping farmers with the harvest. We keep good relations with the girls who belong to the BDM movement Belief and Beauty out in the country. The country women, the young girls who had to work in the country on their parents' farm and property, often had to work around the house and in the fields from very early until very late in the day, between spring and the harvest. Therefore, they had little time for theoretical education, and this education was then offered to the girls during the winter in courses of home economics and farm economics. But farming life skills also meant not to bring all the kitsch from the city to the country and to return to old knowledge and customs. Part of that was to reintroduce old embroidery patterns. Und dann gab es noch die Arbeitsgemeinschaft der Hauswirtschaft. Wir hatten mit den Schulen eine Vereinbarung getroffen. And then there was the home economics work group. We had reached an agreement with the schools that we could use the school kitchens for this, and the girls could try out their own recipes under professional guidance. Der 
Their work leaves little time for the girls to gain home economic skills at home from their mothers. The BDM movement helps them to gain these skills in its home economics work groups. service and personal hygiene. The goal is to become a health service girl, which ends with a test administered by doctors and the award of a health service diploma. The training includes knowledge of the human body and first aid with practical applications in daily life. Furthermore, this work group deals with a healthy person and healthy people. Part of this are subjects such as health and beauty, hygiene, healthy and utilitarian clothing, healthy living, healthy eating, and healthy life in general. 
Dann gab es noch die, die Arbeitsgemeinschaft Gesundheitsdienst. Ähm, die wurden von, And then there was the work group, äh, Health Service. It was led by assistant doctors or sometimes nurses when it came to the professional teaching and it was partially taught in hospitals. Die wurden zum Teil in Krankenhäusern durchgeführt. Gesunde Lebensführung umfasste eben die Gebiete wie Healthy life choices included the topics healthy eating, vitamin-rich cooking, but also health care, nursing and baby care. A lot of time was spent on healthy living in general. That's why we said, we don't smoke, we don't drink, we use makeup sparingly, just so that the skin can breathe underneath and stays free to breathe. We swim a lot. We place importance in good posture when standing or walking. Gute Haltung beim Gehen, Stehen. Und ich glaube, das ist And I think that's very important to the community in general. I just want to remind you of the problems that we're having now with our health insurance funds, the insufficient budget. Krankenkassen haben und dem but it's just as important to the individual to keep healthy and to pass healthy living on to their children. Games and social culture. Telling fairy tales and playing children's games are closely connected to amateur theater. For the girls with the BDM movement, this is of extreme importance because they are able to get ideas for their future tasks in the home. As the center of the family, the woman should be able to pass on cultural treasures to her children through games and song, but especially through fairy tales and legends. The area of this work group included the following. Waking the art of telling stories, practice in impromptu games, shadow puppets and puppet theater, singing, musical games, dances, and family and board games. Spiel und gesellige Kultur war. Ich hatte besondere Freude daran, damals in unseren Arbeitsgemeinschaften auch Stegreifspiele zu Games machen. Games and Social Culture was... It was especially fun for me to put on impromptu games in our work group. We worked together with a shop group for bigger festivals. How to make table decorations, how to do a children's birthday party. And it was especially nice during Christmas time, when we could invite our parents for the Christmas celebrations. Und besonders schön war das in der Weihnachtszeit, wenn wir die Eltern zu den Weihnachtsabenden einladen konnten. During the work on this movie, we uncovered a previously unknown group of the BDM movement, Belief and Beauty in Antwerp. A former member of this subsection reports about the tasks and work in the Flemish Hitler Youth. The leader school was near Brussels, in Terhoven. I was there when it opened. A lot of guests attended, the political and military leaders of Flanders. I could give you names, but you probably couldn't do anything with them. In the leader school, we also learned amateur theater and shadow puppets. We also performed fairy tale plays. We also sang a lot, and we played a lot of sports. Gemeldet. 
Most of the girls from Belief and Beauty volunteered mid-1944 for work or for the German Red Cross. We had learned about this previously, first aid. As girls from Belief and Beauty, who were now 17 years old, we also helped in the military hospitals in Antwerp. On the occasion of the 10th Reichsparteitag of the Nazi Party, September 5th through to the 12th, 1938, the girls with work groups of the BDM movement finally get the opportunity to show what they have learned in front of a large audience. On the day of community, 5,400 girls from all regions of the Reich will perform dances for the public and give a view into part of the work of the BDM movement. The movie was supposed to be released in October of 1939, I think, but then the war was on. Unfortunately, Goebbels cancelled the movie because it didn't fit in right at the beginning of the war. We were very sad about this, of course, because the film was supposed to run before movie features and show what the young girls of our time did and what they believed in. In der in unserer Zeit damals vollbrachten und auch für was sie sich einsetzten und es war ja die Freiwilligkeit, die dort vordringlich war. Two former delegates of the BDM movement remember the inception of their group in Königsberg, East Prussia, and their work until the end of the war. The longer the war lasted, the more the work in the BDM movement became war-oriented. The wartime tasks of the girls included hospital services, train station services, neighborhood help, duties with the authorities or at stores, delivering mail, air raid services, and work in preschools and kindergartens. Königsberg Preußen waren natürlich äh, ganz äh, besonders äh, äh, prädestiniert für eine solche Arbeit. Dort war eine Hochschule, also eine Universität, eine Kunstgewerbe. Königsberg Prussia was predestined for such work. There was a college, a university, an applied art school and a conservatory. There were a lot of different installations where we could ask the experts to come and teach our work groups. And when I got the opportunity to take on leadership of the BDM movement, Belief and Beauty in Königsberg, I was excited to take it. Ja, das war natürlich eine etwas andere Aufgabe. Im BDM-Werk waren äh, auf freiwilliger Basis... Yes, and it was of course a bit of a different task. Girls in the BDM movement were volunteers between the ages of 17 and 21, and we no longer had home evenings, but met as work groups. Normalen äh, Heimabenden trafen sich äh, diese Mädel, sondern in sogenannten Arbeitsgemeinschaften. We met once a week, usually after 6 o'clock in the evening, sometimes after 7 o'clock, depending on the girls. Those who had jobs could often only meet after 7. It depended on the individual work groups, so the start of our meetings was after 6, 7, or sometimes 8 o'clock. Ja, die Durchführung der einzelnen Arbeitsgruppen war folgendermaßen. Wir hatten für jede Arbeitsgemeinschaft eine Fachkraft, zum Beispiel 
The work groups functioned this way. For each group, we had an expert teacher. For example, for music, we had a wonderful music teacher who selected a lot of songs from the Lochheim songbook. And this small music group later performed at hospitals. That was the expert who did that. The organizational leadership, for example notifying the girls, was up to a delegate who was called a leader of the work group. In January 1939, the first national event of the BDM movement took place at the State Opera House in Dresden. It was followed by different, larger events of sporting or cultural nature in the different regions. Ein ganzes Jahr arbeitete man auf die Woche des BDM Works zu. We spent a whole year preparing for the week of the BDM movement. In the week of the BDM movement, we could showcase all of the work groups. The week started off with a big event, usually in a theater or in the auditorium at the university, with a speech by the leaders and the BDM movement delegate for that region. There was also an agent of the party from the city. Then the work group gymnastics would show a graceful dance with Indian clubs or hoops. Und ähm, dann äh, wurde an jedem Tag der Woche äh, eine andere And then a different group was showcased each day. The different parts of the city had beautiful rooms where the orchestra from the work group Music could show their abilities. Die Gemeinschaft Musik, auch eine Instrumentalgruppe ihr Können zeigte. Dann die Arbeitsgemeinschaft Kochen. Then the work group Cooking and the group Sewing, they were together. Und zum Abschluss ähm, wurde im Parkhotel... At the end, we had a big final event at the Park Hotel, the best hotel in the city, and the wounded soldiers were invited to it. ...zur Abschiedsfeier. Es war in diesen drei Jahren, wo die Mädchen beim BDM-Werk war... In the three years the girls had been with the BDM movement, we had the rough goal that physical education should come first. It should be most important in the first year. Then the home economics education, and in the third year, music should play an important role for all girls. The literature circle also played an important role. We didn't just read classics, but we were also especially excited about modern literature. I want to note, Kolbenhaier and Hans Baumann, with their poems, were very important. Freiwillig kamen die Mädchen zu uns, und wer nun kein Interesse hatte, the girls came to us voluntarily. If a girl wasn't interested, she would get a letter after being invited three times to join us that basically said, "We assume you have no interest in joining us," and they were excused from service in the Hitler Youth. Und wurde dann aus dem Dienst in der Hitlerjugend befreit. Ja, meine Vorgängerin ähm, hatte geheiratet und ich wurde von My predecessor had gotten married and I was invited by the BDM delegate for the region, Mariana Ebert, to see whether I was interested in attending a training course in Schanhausen in the Sudetenland. Und ähm, ich sagte natürlich ja, weil of course I said yes, because I could only take on a task if I had the proper training for it, and it was a wonderful course in Schanhausen. There were about 30 of us. We were taught by experts, and I especially remember the classes on personal taste. Back then, it was impossible to mix blue and green in clothing. Today, of course, you can mix any colors and styles. But back then, they said you couldn't combine blue and green. Heute sind natürlich alle Farben und alle Zusammenstellungen erlaubt. Aber damals hieß es blau und grün. 
kann man nicht kombinieren. Jedenfalls anyway, auch we also went on hikes and it was a very nice time. And afterwards, I was introduced as a delegate of the BDM movement and started my work. Wurde ich dann als BDM Beauftragte eingeführt und dann begann erst meine Arbeit. Als ich 1943 das BDM Werk übernahm, ähm, When I took over in 1943, I had a lot of contact with the German Master's Trade School. I was able to interest a lecturer to start the painting work group. Girls who were interested met once a week at the school, and the teacher was able to enthuse them to properly see plants, trees, and the human form for their art. Des deutschen Handwerks und wurden hier von dem Studienrat ähm, äh, begeistert für das Sehen der Pflanzen, für das Sehen der Bäume und für das Sehen der körperlichen Linien. Ich arbeitete auf dem Band. I myself worked on Holzwiesenstraße with the Hitler Youth Group there. Because there was a war on, the Hitler Youth leader asked me to set up a soldier support service so we could keep in touch with our comrades who were in the service and stationed in many different places. Damit wir Verbindung zu unseren Kameraden, die an vielen Orten der Front standen. Und Das war ein, für mich eine sehr schöne und eine sehr intensive Aufgabe. Ich äh, holte von ähm, allen Stellen, die etwas zu berichten hatten. Für mich war das eine wunderbare und sehr intensive Task. Ich habe die Berichte von allen Sektionen, die etwas zu berichten hatten, und sie zusammengearbeitet. Weil ich vorher an einem Jahr in einem Jahr gearbeitet habe, hatte ich noch Verbindungen. Und dann wurde unser kleines Jahr, Field Post Letter, wie wir es nannten, publiziert monatlich. Und ähm, es wurden Grüße, die Kameraden an den Band schickten. And we sent greetings that our comrades had sent to us. We greeted them back. We were looking for comrades we hadn't heard from yet, too. And we found this was a nice bridge to our friends at the front. Das war eine schöne Brücke ähm, zu den Kameraden draußen an der Front. Aus der Festung Königsberg. With the unconditional surrender on May 8th, 1945, the Nazi dictatorship, and therefore the work of all aspects of the party, including the BDM movement, belief and beauty, ceased to exist. Mm -hmm.